So, you're thinking of studying music theatre at the University of Melbourne? Great choice. It's an intensive, studio-based skill-building program in music theatre's three principal disciplines. Singing, acting, and dancing. This course produces industry-ready professional performers with a strong sense of individual expression. Class sizes are small, allowing a personalised approach to your training to support your unique qualities. The first thing you'll want to do is take a look at our special entry access scheme, Access Melbourne. You might even be eligible for a scholarship. Details and eligibility criteria are on the university's website. If you're Aboriginal or a Torres Strait Islander, the Willen Centre for Indigenous Arts and Cultural Development is here to support your art. Before you apply, get in contact with them for some additional information about your study options. The application process for music theatre consists of three parts. Part one, the VTAC application form. The VTAC website is where you'll want to head. Set up an account, pay a one-off fee, and you are all set to apply. VTAC applications open the first week of August. You'll want to check the website for the day applications close. This is very important because you need to have part one and part two of the application process done by this date. Part two, your supplementary application form. Once you've applied for your course, you will be sent a link to complete a supplementary application form. The form will ask for a short personal statement about why you're interested in joining the course. And what training, achievements and professional performance experience you have in singing, acting and dance. We like to put a face to a name, so upload a headshot with your application. It should be current, but it doesn't have to be professionally shot. There is a fee to submit a supplementary application form, which can be waived for healthcare card holders, Indigenous students, or for exceptional circumstances. Part three, your audition. It's time to see you perform. You'll be asked to record an audition and upload it with the supplementary form submission. You can find a guide on the university study website to help you prepare for your audition. What should you expect in your audition? For recorded auditions, begin it with a short introduction about who you are, where you're from and why you're interested in joining the course. You'll be performing two songs, two monologues and a dance routine. Got some questions about your song audition? You'll need to prepare two full songs. To help you prepare, our full song and sheet music guidelines are on the university's study website. What about the monologue audition? You'll need to prepare two monologues, contrasting in style. You can do Shakespeare if you like, but it's not a requirement. Do something you love and something that shows contrast. Both pieces need to be one and a half to two minutes long. Make sure you provide a good contrast in your speeches by choosing different types of characters or genres. Like one drama and one comedy. You need to understand the context of the monologue, so be sure to read the entire play. Hot tips. It's great to look for pieces where your character is trying to affect or change the point of view of the person they're speaking to. Select your monologues from plays rather than film or television scripts. And perform in your natural accent. Without any props or costumes. Full guidelines on how to choose and prepare an effective monologue are on the university study website. How about the dance assessment? You'll receive a link to a video of a short jazz dance routine to learn and upload. Don't worry if you are new to any of these three disciplines. We understand. We're looking for passionate people who love telling stories. Show us what you love. What happens after the audition? Callbacks take place in November or early December, either in person or online. If your recorded audition has been successful, you'll be invited to attend. You can find specific callback dates listed on the website. You'll be asked to perform or workshop your audition pieces. This is the hard part, waiting for your outcome. We won't leave you waiting for too long though. In December, you'll receive an advisory outcome email from the university. While it's not your formal offer, you will find out one of three things. Either one, you have a place in the course provided you meet all the entry requirements. Or two, you may have a place provided you meet the entry requirements and provisional to places being available in the course. Or three, unfortunately you have not been successful at this time. If you've not been successful, don't be disheartened. 
Many of our most successful students and alumni, even some of us, have applied multiple times before receiving their place. But when do you get your formal offer? Keep an eye on the VTAC website for offer round dates. If you're successful, you'll be likely to get your formal offer in January. You can accept the offer on the VTAC website and get started straight away by enrolling in your course subjects. Best of luck. We can't wait for you to join us.